it's Mrs Greening here from Dyslexia Day Centre and I just wanted to put a little message on to remind you why it's so important for you to try and take a few minutes to keep practicing your reading cards. So each of you should have been given a pack which looks something like this. It might not be this colour but inside your pack you will have some reading cards like this. Now mine's quite a small pack, you might have quite a chunky pack. So each time you and your Dyslexia Day Centre teacher introduced a new sound or discovered a new sound, you would have added a new reading card into your pack. And the reading cards are really important because they help us to make the link between the sounds that we hear and the letter that makes that sound. So every time you introduced a new sound, you would have chosen a clue word that you would have drawn on the back of your card. And that example or that word that you chose was a very clear link between the sound that you were learning on that day and the letter that made that sound. So on mine here, the letter we were working on was the letter N and it makes a N sound. That's the pure sound. Remember, your teacher would have done that with you. And the picture that I drew for this card was a net. So I'd got net N. So, Let's have a go. The more automatic and the quicker you can get at being able to make that link between the letters and the sounds, that will help you with your reading and also your spelling. Now I know you've got loads of things on at the moment and you're all really busy, but if you can possibly try to practice your cards every day if you can, that would be brilliant. But if not, if you can do three or four times a week and you can either do them on your own or maybe somebody could help you if you prefer. So I'm just going to remind you how we go through our reading card routine. And it's the same routine that you would have practiced with your DDC teacher in your lessons. So exactly the same. So here we go. So first of all, I'm gonna shuffle my cards. So they come up in a random order. As I say, my pack's quite small. Yours might be much bigger than this one. So I hold the front of the card so that I can see the front of the card. And I'm gonna say the word first, which was the word that you drew. And then I'm going to say the pure sound, which is the sound that's linked with that letter. So here we go. Cat. K. So I turn it over to check that I've got it right. Yes, I have. So now I can put it down and I go on to the next one. Sun. S. Pins. Z. Table. T. Snake. Sn. Now then, if you get to a card and you're a bit slower because you can't quite remember what the sound is or the word that you did, then what you can do is have a check. So you can turn it over and have a look. So if it's not instant, it's not automatic, turn it over. I chose a pen. So let's have another go at that one. Pen. P. So because I wasn't automatic, I'm going to put that one to the back of my pack and then it means I come back to it again later on. So off we go again. Duck. D. Fish, f. rabbit, r. planted, id, igloo, i, i, v, i, two sounds on that one, net, n, pen, p, that's the one I got it that time. So as you get quicker and more fluent with your cards, you could time yourselves and you could track your time so you could try and beat your personal best. So each time you do it, you could try and get a little bit quicker. So the goal is to try and get one a second, but that's quite hard to achieve. So if you can just try your best to get quicker and quicker with them, that would be really good. So thank you very much. Keep working. Keep practicing your cards if you can, as often as you can. That will be really helpful. And we'll see you very soon.